Coach, we'll start with your, okay. your initial thoughts after uh, 10 plus for Grizz. Yep. So um, first, congratulations to NAU. What a, I mean, in the head coaching manual, Chris Ball ought to write a chapter. Uh, that was a magnificent coaching job, getting that team back. I mean, they got worked over by a team that didn't even challenge us two weeks ago, last week, and they came out and played and found a way to win. Uh, nice job by them, first of all. And then uh, for us, we didn't play well enough in, on the special teams. We didn't play well enough on defense, and we generated very little on offense. So we uh, failed in all three phases of the game tonight, got beat in our uh, conference opener. Um, so we've got to go home and, and uh, lock it down, and we gotta we got to get some things right. So that was that was uh, not a good enough performance for a conference game by us. Freshman quarterback got the start. You saw some time a week ago. Were you guys expecting to see a lot of him today? Were you expecting to see him start, or how did you guys maybe prep prepare for the quarterbacks this week? It wasn't really that. Um, we didn't expect to see him start, but you know. Um, they did a nice job. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at us. Um, took us a little, you know, I was like playing a different offense than what we'd seen, but that wasn't the quarterback. That was, they just, they kind of blew it up and did some new stuff and it was effective. Um, it was good coaching. Aaron had a nice plan. Kevin Clune had a nice plan. Um, you know, they, they got up two touchdowns early and then it kind of settled in. But, uh, you know, we had our chances and we didn't capitalize. We didn't execute. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a shame not to not to come down here and win. We did. Why did you guys stick with Sam at quarterback throughout the second half? Um, why wouldn't we? It's a question. Why wouldn't we? Did yeah. you, did you think we should? Did you think we should have somebody else in? That's your decision. Because I wanted to. Then I guess that was my decision. You know, we're not going to grade the players in a press conference, Frank. You got to know that by now, okay? That's that's not what this is for. This is for me to take questions on the game. So you, ask away. What were you most disappointed about today? Uh, we had a good week of preparation. Uh, we had good focus by our guys. And I was disappointed by one, uh, their performance, considering we had a good week of prep. And I was very disappointed that uh, we had mistakes and busts on things that are first day fundamental things. Things that we did the first day of spring practice. I'm sure they did it all summer on their own and didn't bust it once. And we had <coughs> we had quite a bit of that uh, today in that game. What are some of those fundamentals that you would say? Uh, like what would you well, fundamental plays. Uh, I mean, we didn't cover the tight end in three different man coverages. On a, there's nothing complex about it. Um, and we had some zone plays where we just busted some zone run game, you know. Um, simple down the field pass concepts where we ran the wrong route. So, Coach, they, uh, NAU is a really veteran defensive line. Um, what were they doing that was making it difficult? Um, to block and, and to get that push up front. Well, nothing. It, it was nothing schematic. I mean, they just those those guys played well. They're they're kids that have been in. They're young men that have been in the college weight room, one right there outside that door for for five or six years, and they're big, strong guys. They uh, they did a nice job of playing with their hands and staying with it. So, you know, there were times where they won. There were times where we didn't win and get the ball out. So. There's everything goes hand in hand in football. It's 11, 11 guys got to do it right. And their 11 did it better than our 11 today. Thank you. When I know you blocked that punt, could you just talk about what, what the first down was or how they were able to do that? Yeah, I'm going to have to see it on film. I mean, I, I don't know. I couldn't get, I could not get an answer from a player or a coach on who lost. Um, the guy I was watching that, that was free by design that we're going away from uh, did not block it. So that's where my eyes were. So I don't. I I'm kind of excited to see that one uh, on the plane ride home. You guys talk about the importance of momentum, having it and, and using it. Did you feel like you guys ever had the momentum in this game? Sure. Uh, you know when I mean, we didn't do much right today. Now, but when we when we scored uh, 
the second touchdown and then and then ran the two point conversion in to get back on schedule after we missed the first PAT. Um, we had momentum and then coming out of the locker room at halftime, we got them stopped. And we had a drive going, uh, coming out of the locker room that, that, you know, if you get on score, you're in good shape, but we didn't do that. And you look at it, we had 12, uh, we had 12 first downs and we were two for 12 on third down. That, that's not going to get you where you need to go. What were some of the halftime adjustments you guys were trying to do on offense? You weren't able to score in the second half. So was any of you doing something to prevent that or was things just not working out on your guys now? You know, again, it, it wasn't a, there wasn't a bunch of adjustment needed to be made. I mean, there's, there's, uh, we'll see. Ya. There's uh, a lot of opportunity there and we're not capitalizing. So, you know, we've got to, we've got to capitalize. They didn't do anything on defense particularly that surprised us. Um, you know, we got to, we got to get first downs and go down the field and score. And we didn't do that. Well, there's obviously a lot of disappointed guys in the locker room, what's kind of the message to them about getting back on the, the horse for next week? Well, if you know, if you're not disappointed, then you don't care enough. So there, everybody in here is disappointed. Um, we got to play better. You know, that's what it is. We got to, you know, every guy in the room, starting with me, has got to look in the mirror and say, "How do I do better this week?" And we got to come back with a <laughs> with a vengeance on Monday and get ready to go. I mean, the coaches will be in tomorrow. But. Where do, you, where do you think you're at as a, as a football team? Right oh, I don't know. I'll have to go watch it. See, I mean, that's, what do you mean by, I don't know. What do you mean where we're at? We're sitting in Flagstaff, Arizona in the press room. That's where I'm at. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you said, you know, last year that, or uh, last week, you said after that game, you're like, oh, we're, we're not really where we're, we were at last year. Oh, we're so not even close been, to where we were a year yeah, ago. So we're just not overall, as good. How would you describe, like, you know, where you feel like you guys are at as a program right now? Oh, we're not we're not as good as we were a year ago at this time. That's kind of what I said. Um, do you want something beyond that? Thanks, guys. All right, guys, we got Braxton Hill here. Uh, Brax, first of all, just a tough loss for the Grizz. Uh, your initial thoughts after coming off the field? You know, just super disappointed. Um, obviously, really wanted to win. And, you know, hats off to NAU. They did some things that uh, hurt us defensively. And uh, we just weren't able to bounce back and get back on top. You guys, that very first drive, they had some momentum. And then Trevin gets the bat and you got the pick. How were you guys able to kind of settle in after they kind of came out firing on that first drive? I mean, yeah, they came, they came right down the field, um, just storming. And then, um, you know, Trevin made a great play and tapped the ball. And um, I was just chasing over there. And, you know, we got the turnover. But, I mean, they, they were marching down the field. I know you guys talked about the importance of having momentum in a game and what that can do for you. Did you feel like you guys ever got the momentum in this game? I mean, they definitely ha had momentum pretty much the whole entire game, it felt like. Um, I mean, I don't know how many times they were on our side of the field, but it felt like a lot. And, um, yeah, they definitely had a lot of momentum the entire game. Did they do anything that kind of surprised? I mean, obviously they had like you know trick plays and stuff, but they had you know some tight end stuff in the flat, like that was, that was giving you hard. Was there anything scheme wise that surprised you guys? I mean, I don't know if there's anything that surprised us. They just did some things that um, we didn't react well enough to. Um, like you said, the tight ends coming across. They, they had the trick play. They had the wheel. I mean, they scored on um, two plays essentially, um, the wheel and the trick play. But I mean. You know, hats off to them. They, they kicked our butt in, in those in those plays. So. I know you guys. You know, you never expect to lose a football game. You came down here expecting to win. So how how hard is it to kind of let that sink in and knowing that you guys did not, you know, come away with the result you wanted? You know, it's it's really hard. Um, you know, it shows um, how much we care about this football team. You know, we're disappointed when we lose, and um, like Coach Hobbs said, we're just going to have to big time reality check across the board and. And have to come back and get ready to work and get our first conference win next Saturday. They came out with the freshman quarterback who saw some time a week ago. Like, how prepared did you guys feel for him? Were you expecting him, or what were you guys kind of expecting out of that quarterback situation? Um, you know, we were kind of hearing things throughout the week that he might start, um, but I felt like it was the same game plan if it was two or twelve. And you know, he did, he did a great job. Uh, you know, they had a good mix between um, running the ball and boot action, and then um, those trick plays. So I mean. He, he got the job done. What about his game? 
uh, was just difficult to plan for and just how do you guys maybe use this loss to kind of feel you going forward here? Can you repeat that? Yeah, I, I'll just skip the first part, but uh, just how do you guys kind of use this to feel you going forward? Because you're three and one, you know, a loss, it hurts, but you guys still have a lot of season left. Yeah, like I told Sean, you know, we just got to go back and uh, um, we got to look at ourselves in the mirror. You know, um, it wasn't one guy who lost the game. It's, it was a team effort. Um, so we got to, you know, take the coaching, understand where we got to play better. And, uh, you know, we just got to have a really good week and, um, we got to come next Saturday ready to play.